fans had to wait just a little bit longer for that home debut as the rain caused a 30-minute weather. World Cup fever right here in Charleston. We have a live report coming up next. How about this? We even had a few teams in our area start practice at 12. I was talking to the oh, athletic director just a few minutes ago, and he told me not to use the R word as we don't want to jinx. <laughs> A smiling Molly Skaggs looks like any other player on her school's volleyball team. I love the, I love spiking. And I love to serve. I love bumping. I love everything. But it's that second, third, and maybe even fourth glance that her family knows all too well. It was a shock when she was born, but, you know, God doesn't make mistakes. Molly was born without feet but now has prosthetic legs. She's had the legs shortly after her first birthday. Her prosthetics have become so much a part of her life. The other day I came up with this. I called myself the transformer because one minute I'm like this tall, then I just put on and I'm like that tall. <laughs> and so I do the whole transformers activate. She's already influencing others. I never thought I'd be an inspiration to anyone really. When I started volleyball, I, I did it just for fun and everything because I really wanted to be in a sport and I'd always wanted to do volleyball. But when people started recognizing it, it made me feel really good about myself. And I never really thought about, you know, inspiring anyone. She's always been determined and, and never really let it bother her. You know, if she wants to do it, she would do it. And because of her condition, Molly feels like it's made her the person she is today. I feel like I'd be snobby in my feet, really. <laughs> They'd have to go through a lot more challenges with prosthetics, but I mean, I'm blessed. In Elliott County, Brandon Smith, 13 News, working for you. At any basketball game, you have your usual sounds of the game. Justin, bro, look at Crunchy. You gotta look down the floor. But for one capital player, he hears none of that. I think this team is really special. They're really nice. They really help me. And especially the JV team really communicates with me. Armed with his interpreter of 14 years, senior Nikwe Little was born deaf and is one of only two seniors on this season's Cougar squad. The interpreter helps me understand, but all of all, it is hard. Basketball is, basketball is harder. Listening and watching and working and learning, learning what to do on defense and how they, and how they change the plays. Now Thursday night was his senior night, and the usual JV starter, McQuay, got to start with the varsity team. Hey. And that bucket was the second of the game. A cool moment, no doubt, for Little, who didn't play organized ball until entering high school. And he's already looking ahead to next year, where he plans to attend Gallaudet in Washington, D.C. School is really nice, really big, many, many, and it's all deaf. And, and, and I can communicate with them. It's easy for me to talk. In the future, I want to get, I want to, I want to work. I'm going to get a good job, and then I'm going to get, I'm going to get a girlfriend, and then I want to socialize and meet new people. Reporting in Charleston, Brandon Smith, 13 News, working for you. For the final day of this 2014 season. It was last call for fans at Power Park. Fans filed in for the last game of the 2014 season as the team ended their 10th season at Power Park. When you hear them say, play ball, man, it's like exciting. I just like hanging out with my friends and my family. and. The food's really good. I'm a huge Pirates fan, so it's really fun to come out and, you know, watch the Pirates prospect do their thing. For others, it's the environment they get out of the ballpark that they'll miss. Oh, everybody really does back the team. It's really good, especially the Rowdies. Obi-Wan Jacoby! Fans of the future are enjoying the moment. I got to go run out on the field a couple times. The other night they gave away, like, Gregory Polanco bobbleheads. So that's pretty cool, I reckon. When Jacoby hit a walk-off. And as the team took their final swings of the season, fans say it's a bittersweet time. I might cry by the end of it, but it sucks. But look forward to next season. I will be back next year. You know, God, God permitting, I will be right here, right here, for every game, hopefully. Which matches the power staff's wishes. If we do our job and get them here once, and then we do our job and they have a good time while they're here, they're going to come back. Go, pal! In Charleston, Brandon Smith, 13 News, working for you.